What is going on, guys? Wiser here, coming to you with a recap of one of the last wars for 2.0. So I have to admit, uh, I did this full recap, uh, 40 minute video, and something wrong with my mic. So I sort of did what I could, uh, try to maybe just put some cool music in and let the video go, and just a pain in the ass. So my best bet is to just do some commentary over top of what I got here, and. Um, this was our 10v10 extravaganza versus the Crunch Time family. Uh, came away with a percentage victory. It was un unreal how it worked out. We had a few attacks uh, missed on both sides. Uh, could have made the difference in the war, but it was more for fun. Uh, I do want to say, you know, we did a little bit of streaming. I did a few hours of streaming, but uh, I want to give a shout out to uh, Adam of the Time to Clash channel. That guy is a stand-up individual. He does so uh, much media stuff for Clash Clans, whether it's streaming or videos or whatever. Um, and this guy, honestly, uh, has no problem taking the time to help me out. He's been uh, he's been going um, uh, going out of his way to to help me get my Twitch channel going, which uh, you know Twitch.tv slash oh labs. Please, I will put the link. It should be down there already, actually. Uh, so please give me a sub on Twitch. Uh, I'm really trying to get my streams going. Uh, but as well, uh, go if you. I mean, if you're watching my videos, you're probably watching Adam's videos, let's be honest. But uh, if you are not, check him out. I will put the info down below to his YouTube and Twitch uh, down below as well. Uh, time to clash. Blame Adam. Hashtag blame Adam. Love it. Uh, wanted to give him a shout out because that guy is just a stand-up individual. He uh, he takes some serious time uh, helping me out. And, uh, I really appreciate it. So anyways, just going to fly through some of these attacks. Sort of do some over commentary here. Uh, just sort of chat about, uh, about some stuff. Um, as you can see, firm, crazy queen charge here, blows up that wall, uses the king to funnel, uh, gets his queen right in there, takes care of the sweepers, takes care of a uh, couple air defenses, about to engage the enemy archer queen here, goes ahead and gets that other rage down to burn through those core buildings, really nice, I also like he's about to drop a jump spell over top that little compartment, there we go, it's going to unlock that sort of core so the queen can get in, and actually has access to the other, the, the two more air defense there, which is really nice. Um, so crazy queen charge. He's about to go ahead and send his Lalo in here in one moment. Oh, good, I still have some coffee left. This is oh, beautiful. Oh, I should, should put my hat on or something. This is, uh, this is early in the morning. So this video uh, I had done uh, three, four days ago. It just really pissed me off. Did the whole thing. Uh... And for some reason, my headset is crapping out. It's uh, it's on its last legs. I'm really trying to just buy another month of time, but I might have to bite the bullet and buy a, buy a headset in the meantime. Anyways, Lalo comes in. Sort of the three o'clock section is going to go ahead and just kind of just push. You see, there's not much base left. He just has to go from three straight up to twelve, and that's basically the whole base. Get rid of those nasty inferno towers. Air defense is about to go down. The last air defense has that blimp go right in on top of the expo and path right on over to that uh, 12 o'clock Inferno Tower. A few more balloons sprinkled in. Just absolutely crushed this base. The only problem might have been a little bit of time issues, but uh, just because of those queen charges, they can take some serious time at the beginning of the raid to get down. But as you can see, he's got a billion balloons here. Wish I could hit the fast forward key, but unfortunately I cannot. But thank you, previous self, for doing so a few seconds later. I see it, man. All right, what else we got here? What else? It's kind of interesting. It's like watching my video and then, uh, I don't know. I don't know if people, people do this normally. I'd rather just sort of do it on the fly. And as I'm doing it, uh, I'm recording. Uh, maybe make a few edits afterwards. I just, I don't know. I'm uh, obviously very, very amateur compared to some of these guys. But um, anyhow, you're going to see Mixa bringing in the Ice Witch here. I think Mixa had a six pack with the Ice Witch. Lucky you got to this base before me because perfect Ice Witch base. Only concern is you do have to burn a lot of freezes on the entry. So you're going to get that clan castle. You have both those Inferno Towers locking onto your wall wrecker. So the, the key here is get the wall wrecker to those hero, to the hero compartment. And you should be good. You can see these freezes go down. He's got the first two down. He's going to drop another freeze and another freeze. And I think another freeze. He's burned through four already. There's number five, number six. He did not need the, the fifth one, but no big deal. Uh, Inferno Tower is going down. Second Inferno Tower is about to go down. That wall wrecker still has tons of health. Just got to bust through that clan castle and it's going to break open. This last remaining wall uh, at least gets one small one hit on it. Now, uh, especially if it gets one, the wall record gets one hit on those lower level walls. You're gonna see how quickly these bowlers just smash on through the core, and way it goes. Core is sort of open. Bowlers jump on in. 
smash through, get that defensive queen taken care of, just decides to use the freeze on the defensive queen to make sure that goes down by in time. They get a healer lock onto his healer in the core, which is nice. Or a healer lock onto the healer. Healer locked onto his queen in the core, which is nice. Gonna let that queen just kind of go right into that queen chamber and hollow out the rest of those defenses on the outer edge. So there's a ton of witches coming up at three o'clock. The, uh, the nine o'clock flank ended up uh, fizzling out, but no big deal. You're gonna see these witches join up with this queen here. Hits that ability just in time. Gets those other two healers locked onto the queen now. Absolutely perfect. You're gonna see this base is Jeep, Jeep. This attack is just crazy, <laughs> crazy OP. I don't know what to say. But uh, nice hit, mix up beautiful six pack this for buddy. What is next on block? Deck 3.0. This guy's got accounts all over the place. I think he's got four or five accounts he runs. Um, but this is his town hall tent. He's gonna go ahead and bring a pretty sweet Queen Walk Lalo here. Just gets that uh, initial balloon going. I'm not really sure what that was for. Maybe just drawing traps out. I'm not really sure, but goes ahead, gets the queen walk down, gets a uh, wizard and a baby D to help funnel that town hall out of the way. Queen's going to go ahead and walk right in, take care of all of those defenses down at six o'clock. Gonna have to hit that rage real quick. There it goes. I don't want to burn that ability that quickly. Uh, I think it is actually on uh, Queen Charge. I think he's going to uh, bust on in somewhere around the 9 o'clock compartment, if I remember correctly. Yeah, there's the king. So you know he's using the king and the wizard to funnel off the 9 o'clock section. And he's going to go ahead and, I believe, open up that uh, that 9 o'clock compartment and let his queen walk in, get the expo and the defensive queen and the can ca uh, clan castle. So there goes that wall. Break just perfectly. Hits that next rage. Queen's going to continue on up and work her way through that stuff. Out comes the clan castle, but it kind of worked out that it locked onto the king first because it buys his queen just enough time to get in there, get those other wall breakers in there, open things up to let access right into that defensive queen and the rest of the core stuff. See that defensive queen lock on, so there goes that rage. It's not have to burn that ability yet. Still has it intact, which is absolutely perfect because that Lava Hound's about to lock on, but he gets the sweeper out of the way as well. Poison goes down, so that balloon's going to be dead by the time it hits the queen. So perfect poison there. Gets a few minis in just to help uh, the queen out with the Lava Hound. And goes ahead and commences the Lalo. And the Lalo's coming in basically from the 6 o'clock. Just going to rotate sort of uh, counterclockwise around the base. Hound in right on top of the uh, um, Infernal and Air Defense. Nice little freeze there just to buy enough time for the balloons to get in on top of the Air Defense. And the Haste Spell is going to throw everything into the next set of Air Defenses there. Really, I mean, with three air defenses and the Inferno up and no Lava Hounds, could be a bit of an issue, but there's far too many balloons at this point, and the blimp coming in from 12 o'clock sort of is was the key to this raid. Nice little timing on that. Let everything meet up, sort of as pups and minions all over the base. Full health, ability intact queen working through that core. Hits the, uh, hits the ability just for fun there. Did not need to do that. Absolutely smash this base deck. Nice job. There she goes. All right, next on the block, please. I show pain reigns here. I do, I do, I do. Bringing in a, another Lalo, I think, because apparently cause I can't see the troops when I do it like this, but I uh, think it is another Queen Walk. There comes the blimp. Blimp's going right into that Inferno Tower. Might have dropped the blimp first and then the balloon because then that Tesla would have went down. But the oh yeah, the double clone with Electro Drag and loons coming out of the CC. All those max loons with the double clone are gonna get crazy value. And this uh, this Electro Drag too gets insane value. I believe these uh, this Electro Dragon is gonna still be up at the end of the raid because uh, you're gonna see all those defenses now between nine o'clock to twelve o'clock are dead. So the drag is just going to continue to clean up all the way around the base. Goes ahead and gets that Lalo in. Two Lava Hounds in on that first air defense. Balloons converging in all over the place, <clears throat> which was nice. Good good decision to do that because now that e drag is just going to work in behind them and get everything out of the way. Haste all over the base. Gets that Inferno Tower to go down. One more air defense to go here and that sweeper. Down she goes. Perfect timing on the burst from that Lava Hound. 
<clears throat> sweeper helps throw things, throw uh, the rest of the balloons right on top of that expo. And there's nothing left in this base that's going to be a problem. So it's only a matter of cleanup. And like I said, that e drag still doing work for 12 o'clock has 25 balloons running through the base right now. <laughs> Just absolutely crushed it, Pain Rain. Nice job, buddy. Man, in hindsight, why am I not fast forwarding at the end of the raid? Didn't wait way too long. Wait, I was about to do it. See my mouse? I was about to do it. Silly, silly, silly. <laughs> All right, moving on. What do we got next? The Iceman, number one Iceman. Since when is ice number one on our war map? I don't think ever in my entire career have I seen that, but he is in this 10v10 war because he is number one. Go ahead and bring in this uh, uh, more standard, I think, Sui Lalo because you guys just straight balloons in the blimp here. You're going to see pop on out, take care of the air defense, take care of that expo, which is nice. And down goes the wizard tower. Pretty good value on that. Basically, it clears out that entire nine o'clock section of the defenses. <clears throat> goes ahead and gets, I believe, the Sui in from 12 o'clock, and he wants to get that 12 o'clock air defense out of the way. A couple Teslas, a couple other uh, little juicy tidbits, but see the king and queen moving in. King's going to take care of the Tesla. Queen's going to walk in right behind and take care of the air defense. Nicely done. King's about to go down to the Inferno here. And no big deal. Queen's going to walk on it. I think she gets another, uh, gets that uh, Archer Tower and Wizard Tower out of the way, but it's going to fizzle out to this defensive king here now. No big deal. So, uh, the loons come in, targets that 12 o'clock. Think he had hoped maybe his queen would follow the king and target the Inferno? I could be wrong, though. But it doesn't really matter. Hey, in, throw those balloons right in onto that uh, air defense number three. And you're going to see that go down in one moment with the rage over the core and the double skelly spells going down over that queen. Bam, bam, and it sucks. Oh, at least the queen stayed there. I hate, hate, hate when your queen will chase a hound and you just drop your rage and skellies and then the queen hops over a wall and you're like, oh, are you kidding me? But it doesn't really matter. That did not happen. Down goes the Inferno. A couple more defenses to go. Haste spell and a heal spell for that final wizard tower. Didn't even really need it because the haste was down through all those balloons right on top of it. Has nice cleanup around the base. Just has to take care of that Tesla over on the far end here. But it kind of worked out because all those balloons now are going to be around all of that trash. Going to help those pups just clear out the 6 o'clock and then just got to work on over to those high hit point buildings. Over near 3 and this base is G. G. Big hit for the Ice Man. Bonus points for getting the town hall last. Whatever that means. <laughs> All right, moving on. If I miss your attacks, guys, I'm sorry. There were so many. Uh, must have had what, like, I mean, it's 45 versus 45. I think maybe we missed 10 bases each. I don't know. I never really checked. but So there's at least 30-some attacks that I had to choose from. So I sort of skipped all the lower tier Town Hall 10s and then tried to just give a good diversity uh, of attacks, maybe show one or two of each attack style. Um, other than that, I mean, it was nothing. No specific reasons I didn't choose your attacks as well. Uh, the, this war was all Town Hall 10s from 1.0, 2.0, and Prime. So, uh, again, I don't really know who is who in a lot of senses. I just know our 2.0 guys, but a lot of just really nice attacks to show. So it was really difficult to choose which ones. However, I went with what I went with, so no offense to anyone who, I, uh, who I'm not showing. But you can see this very standard bitch coming from the old 2.0 leader, my man Mopeace, uh, probably the oldest man in the entire 1.0 family, next to me, of course. I am younger. I'm the second oldest, I would think, I'm guessing. Um... Just a guess, but uh, good old most piece. He has 18 kids to support, guys, so uh, let's cheer him on. <laughs> um, most piece, I go way back. Uh, honestly, honestly stand-up guy. Uh, lives in uh, over in Vancouver, Canada. Uh, and he is getting it done with the standard bitch, getting everything into the court. Let's this wall wrecker get right in there. And the goal was to get the wall wrecker to the clan castle, and it does. Jump spell unlocking that back of the base to get access to the two, last two expos and that multi inferno. And you're going to see the heal and rage go down and allows those bowlers to smash down. The last, uh, last major threats really in this base uh, doesn't have any flanks going, but still has two healers kind of working through the base, keeping uh, the queen and bowlers going. 
<clears throat> so Queens sort of hiding behind the bowlers, getting healed. Bowlers are getting value out of heels as well. There's really only a couple Teslas to go, and it's a matter of cleanup. Good job, Mike, because I hit four times at perfect time that time. Still has the ability intact of the queen, I might add. Doesn't matter. Just got to clean up the base. And that's three in the bag for mouthpiece. Nice job, Bulldog. Kablam. What's next? Erickson. What would a recap be without Erickson's Dragons? This guy looks for these sort of uh, things. You look at 12 o'clock there, you see the two air defense side by side. Uh, that's sort of a really good uh, indicator that this base can be dragged. Uh, you drop the uh, triple zaps you're going to see go down. First two zaps to make sure that at least one air defense goes down, place your earthquake, and then sort of use the third lightning to make sure what else you want to die dies. And uh, Erickson does just that. That whole 12 o'clock is out. So now he drops that baby D at 12 on a high hit point town hall there. A couple balloons in to make sure that arch tire goes down to allow the baby D to do its work. Goes in and drops his Suicide Heroes with a Dragon. I thought that was kind of nice. Dragon's sort of helping the Queen uh, do some funneling up there. King's going to work on down. He gets the Queen to move down, and I believe she takes out that air defense I just clicked on right there. Uh, you're going to see she's got to work uh, through the defensive King, though. But that Dragon helping out just was perfect. A lot of the Queen burst on through, steps on down. Down goes that air defense I was just talking about. Rested the drags, moving in through the course. Goes ahead and drops a Rage. So, uh, these Dragon attacks are sort of um, sectioned off attacks. So first it's... What are you going to get with your zaps? What are you going to get with your suicide heroes? And how are you going to follow all the drags in? And then based on the drag pathing, where are you going to send in your blimp? And where are you going to send in your lalo uh, to sort of all converge in and meet up and, and protect your dragons as much as possible? You see that all work out. He's got a million balloons kind of working through the base now. Um, just a matter of time. <laughs> Dragon's doing tanking for all of that. Still has uh, almost full health, I believe, on that Lava Hound there. It was kind of nice. Might have been able to bring another six balloons instead. But you always want to bring the Hound just in case. And you're going to see this uh, last few defenses go down. Those two Teslas popping up there. Uh, don't stand a chance with that Hound getting in there. It would have been nice if that Hound could have burst. But you're going to see Queen is still doing cleanup too. Absolutely crushes it. Erickson, my man. Can't forget that builder set though, bro. I would have saved one balloon for that builder set. No, I wouldn't have. <laughs> All right. Moving on. What else do I got? Is Big D going in? Are we watching Big D's here? What am I talking about? I wish. I wish I do. I wish the sound was existent because <laughs> it was definitely a fire recap for sure. I don't know what I'm blabbing about, but it would be so nice if I could fast forward from this. Uh, still working on my kinks with OBS, actually. Um, slowly getting better with it here and there. Um, but it is what it is. I'm not uh, not super fluent with OBS, but um, we'll take this time uh, to talk a little bit as well about Erickson and I slay my base. I'm also going to link the email. Please send me bases. I'm trying to build a few up right now. Any, you know, probably this week or next, we're going to do another good slay my base. It'd be nice if I could have two or three bases built uh, for Erickson to break down for us and friendly challenge. Awesome series. Super fun. Love doing that live stuff. Live friendly challenges is always, always cool. So uh, Chubsy boy, Chubbs had a couple of counts in this war as well. I think he had like, I think he had, at least three three stars, if not more. Uh, so he brings a little bit different style of Lalo. He's going to bring the uh, the basically two baby dragons to funnel a wall wrecker in with his heroes. <clears throat> King goes for a bit of a walk, but it doesn't really matter. His goal here is to get the clan castle taken care of and that defensive queen. Very standard, old school style. Get the queen, get the CC. See if you can get an air defense out of the way. Doesn't get an air defense out of the way, but it doesn't really matter. You're going to see the way he kind of hollows out this base. Uh, Valks, uh, is it Valks? Yeah, Valks pop on onto that wall wrecker, take care of business. They get huge value. Expo goes down. A defensive queen is done for. <clears throat> you see his queen still doing work in the courts. It's nice and leaves this sort of kind of like V shape, not even. It's almost like it's a straight shot across the base for his Lalo here. Uh, just got to work on through. He's got tons of haste, brought five haste, a rage, and heal. See the haste, keep those balloons moving, get air defense number two to go down. Very nice. I think a little Tesla farm pops at 12 here. Yeah, there it is. So that pose be a bit of an issue, but goes ahead and drops that rage, 
boom, look how fast these Teslas go down. Air defense goes down. Nice little heel spell on the back end to help uh, help out with that multi inferno. But the multi inferno goes down so quickly. You have so many balloons. Hound bursts at the perfect moment. Right as the balloons arrive over top of the air defense, and really there's an expo here and a few defenses at uh, three o'clock. Things got to take care of. But there's cleanup all over the base. Tons of puffs and minis coming up from nine. Got a mini already on that town hall at 12. Does lose the queen there, but doesn't really matter. She would have got stuck on walls anyways, and there's tons of stuff cleaning up this trash around the base. Chubsy boy, very nice war map. Very impressed. Between the bag with bonus points again. All right, what do I got next? Good old Dan. Dan had another six pack as well. He's bringing a standard bitch on this one. One jump, two rage, two heal, and a freeze with a poison. Goes ahead and gets the uh, witches down at 10 o'clock. And then gets his queen walk down at uh, like 7 o'clock. Uh, so did bring extra healers, right? Because I guess, sorry, I shouldn't say standard bitch, but uh, sort of a queen walk on one side. Uh, he recognizes uh, if he funnels the queen down around 6, her healers are safe. So as long as uh, he can do that and make sure his funnel is good at 10 o'clock, he can just walk a ton of bowlers into the middle of that base, goes and gets that freeze spell, gets the poison spell down over the clan castle troops, has witches and some wizards in there helping out with that baby dragon under the rage that goes down very quickly. Wall Wrecker still has a ton of health, gets that second rage down for those bowlers to get really good value. Does have to hit that queen ability, but it's perfect. She's going to get great cleanup value now going from 6 to, six to 3. <clears throat> just got to work on through down goes the multi inferno and you ever have those raids where you want your wall record to get to a point and it gets so much further i feel like that was this because his wall record is about to bust through the other side of the base which is awesome does not have any spells left for it but it doesn't really matter giant pops out first uh bomb hits his bowlers there but they just survive and kill that tesla in time to sort of help do a little bit of cleanup his queen is now going to like i said this queen is, is doing huge work she's just going to walk all the way around no worries of her healers whatsoever other than maybe some mines there's a red one no big deal as the bowlers open on the town hall which is good not that many troops left and uh, like i said they hit the bomb but a few of them survive and end up getting benefit from the healers on the queen so little queen and a couple bowler combo here is enough to take care of the rest of this base fortunately does have to sit there on a wall here at the end to get that air defense taken care of but it is far too late as that's the last remaining structure and down it goes three in the bag for dan nice job buddy good read on that uh, queen walk Right, keep going, keep going, keep going. Move it, Wiza. 95.96 to 94.44. I can't believe with a 45 versus 45, Town Hall 10, all Town Hall 10 war, we tied and it came to percentage. Like, what are the what are the odds of that happening with uh, with uh, there's so many combinations? But anyhow, you can see Predator, my boy, using the Ice Witch with the extra rate. So I've been opting to do this uh quite a bit more on my ice switches. I really like getting the early rage on your queen to help out with the clan castle. Um, it helps when it's a lava hound sometimes because it allows your queen to just take the lava hound down really quick, especially if there's a wizard or two uh, with her. And if it's not uh, a lava hound in the CC, uh, the queen just blasts through the, the, the stuff and, and really just hollows up the base quickly and keeps up with the wall wrecker. A lot of times I find my queen will lag behind and the wall wrecker gets out ahead, so they get really separated. My queen will start taking damage when, uh, with that early rage, which he didn't use, of course, Predator. There it goes, finally. Didn't really need you. Uses the double for the bowlers, and down goes that heel. Still has the rage, though, so I think he's going to use it on the back end. Uh, you're going to see this in a moment, but you see that queen sort of burst through the Lava Hound very quickly, and it is keeping up now. It's right up there, and you can see that other rage down, get huge value on these last couple compartments, has four witches on the on the uh, 9 o'clock and four witches on the 3 o'clock, still just looking perfectly good. <clears throat> queen ability is intact. Bowlers bust through the wall. Queen's going to jump on up, help out with the Wizard Towers. And that Mortar, make sure the Skeletons continue on through this base to those point defense. And you can see there's far too many troops. Has one skeleton on that three o'clock. But look, he's still got two minis uh, in the bag there. So he would have had he would have had that builder side, no problem. Really nice read. Who knew Predator could town all ten? Right? Am I right? 
<laughs> Love you, buddy. Nice hit. He was watching me friendly challenge. I was just, I was wrecking like a ton of bases with uh, with Ice Witch, and he was asking me some questions about it. And then, boom, oh, boom, oh, jumps in a war and uh, rocks out a three star. I think he had a six pack as well. I think his other attack was Hogs. Um, so this is a Pain Rain six pack. Uh, this was the only minor hit I was going to show. Uh, minor hits I find a little boring. Oh man, I wasn't going to show that one. What was I doing? What was wrong with me? What am I doing? Jesus. So there's Fear of the Chubs. I forget what I was showing there. But anyhow, um, so this, oh yeah, this was the minor hit I wanted to show. Um, I did skip some quite a few minor hits just because they're sort of boring. Um, at least I've, I don't know, maybe it's just me. But uh, you're going to see it's all about the funneling. It's all about the healing. All about what value you get out of your kill squad. So... He kind of gets this funnel going with these bowler bounces and then drops a couple giants, do a little tanky and get the funnel going at six o'clock while record goes in. Heroes are going to follow in behind. You're going to see, I'm sort of drawing it with my mouse there. That entire V shape, well, that entire V shape at six o'clock is going to get taken care of. And if you look from nine o'clock, those it's just those two army camps up there. So you're going to see the miners have like this perfect path starting on that barracks at like eight o'clock. And they just work into that first inferno and then work their way right through the base. And the queen gets tons of value here behind this wall record. <laughs> King goes for a little walk, I guess. Uh, it liked that gold storage on the outside, which is fine. But you can see the queen step up to here and take care of that wizard tower on the side. Those valks are still getting value out there, which is nice. Doing tanking for that queen. Queen takes care of that inferno tower. She even steps up and sort of takes care of that high hit point clan castle. While these miners work through the base, you got those wizards down. Got the miners down quick and two quick wizards on those army camps. And boom, his funnel's created. You see, they, they only have one place to go. Really easy to predict. My problem with minor hits is you'll they, they're so fucking hard to track. Like, if you let them spread a little bit, it's kind of hard to tell where your main group is, I find. Um, so sometimes your heal spells are off because you're like, oh, they're there. Oh, wait, no, they're not. And then, uh, but when you can predict where they're going because there's only one spot for them to go, you know your heal spells are on point. You know they're going to survive. Queen's going to step up and do a little bit of work here as well. Take care of that Tesla for them. Take care of that cannon for them. Even has a little balloon there. I thought that was interesting to drop on that cannon. Doesn't matter though. Queen is about to kill it. Down she goes. Tons of miners still. Well, not tons, but definitely enough. Probably a dozen or so. Just got to do a little bit of cleanup. And a street in the bag for Pidgey. Nice job. <clears throat> All right. I think only a few more to go here. There's Predator's other hit. I was showing that. He had a nice hog, hat, hog attack as well. Probably should have shown that one. I, I, I don't know. I, I just There were so many attacks. It was hard to sort of organize this recap, but... Anyhow, Warble, of course, of course, I did show Hog Attack. This is Warb, but this Queen Walk Hogs, I love it. Um, nice amount of funneling troops. Going to go ahead and get that Queen to sort of walk in and around. I'm showing it right now, down, across, down around 3 o'clock. <clears throat> and I believe sends the Wall Wrecker in with the Queen, so the Queen can get the Inferno, get the Defensive Queen, and uses the King down here to funnel on this side. Three Wizards behind the King. Just going to continue that funnel. In goes the wall wrecker, as I said. He's going to go ahead and drop a freeze, I believe, on the expo and the inferno here to protect the queen. There she goes. Fortunately, misses the expo a little bit off on that one more. <clears throat> goes ahead and drops the rage. Does have to hit the queen ability here. Yeah, there she goes. Because the hound comes out. So queen's going to work on that hound for a minute. But nice timing on the ability because uh, archers and the queen under rage. So, wall record gets taken out. Bowlers pop on out of that clan castle. Smash down that defensive queen. Still has all his healers intact. The hound is out of the way now. Bowlers are gutting the base. And you're going to see again, this ring around the rosy has been created. He's going to go ahead, I believe, send the hogs in from 12. And, whoa, 12. That was really weird. <sighs> been really sick lately, but this freaking weather, man. Uh, but you're going to see this sort of, just again, ring around the rosy. All the outer defenses, like the whole inside of the base is gutted. So hogs are really easy to heal, really easy to predict. Uh, not a lot of spring trap locations you're going to see as well based on the pathing. And uh, just has to make sure you heal some of these uh, some of these bombs, heal this wizard tower. Fortunately, that inferno tower did lock onto his uh, defense, or onto his queen. So did lose the queen there, but there's far too much. 
uh, working through this base. So really only a Tesla Cannon and Archer Tower to go now. And down they go. He's got freaking probably 15 plus hogs still. It does take a mine there at the end, but it's not enough. Just got to clean up the rest of this trash. Nice little gobby at 12, doing a little bit of cleanup. Down the go, down go the storages, and down go the barracks. And that's a chalk at three from a man warble. Nice job, man. All right, number two, Cast 2.0. I was watching him uh, friendly challenge this for all week. Um, sort of using variations. He decides to go with a wall wrecker on this one. Uh, three lava hounds and I think 24 balloons. Hard for me to see that behind my... Uh, by my screen, but 24 balloons, I believe. Goes ahead and gets that funnel going. Uh, gets the queen down, baby D's, wizards on the other side. Gonna go ahead and funnel the queen and the king and wall wrecker right into the double air defense, take care of the clan castle and the defensive queen. Uh, when you can get that out of really only, let's say 10, 12, so 22 troops base plus your wall wrecker and heroes, uh, that's really good value. You can see that uh, Queen's doing work on the Wall Wrecker, but in a second, the heroes are going to get in there. Wall Wrecker is going to burst. Out comes the Valks. They're going to smash apart this core, take care of those sweepers as well, which is really nice value. Now, these are multi-infernos, so the Lalo is a little bit of a scary decision, uh, but when you get that kind of value out of your Wall Wrecker, just unbelievable. Queen even jumps in there and helps out with both those wizard towers, which is nice because the purpose of those two wizard towers next to the multi was just for this loon defense, right? Because you get you get double wizard towers shooting your groups of loons while a multi smash them. Uh, that's that's pretty tight. But anyways, the, the queen stepped up nicely, took out those uh, took out the wizard towers from the backside. Loon sort of does move in now in a counterclockwise rotation. Got two haste and a heal left for this back end. Gonna heal that multi inferno, perfect. But the haste just throws everything right on top of it. Down goes the multi. Just gotta get to that last air defensive time. Hound burst at the perfect moment. Nice little haste spell. Boom! Down goes the air defense. Down goes the expo. And the last couple defenses absolutely crush this one. Cast really nice hit, buddy. <clears throat> just crazy value out of that uh, out of that suicide. Well, yeah, I'm sort of suicide wall wrecker hero combo, whatever you want to call it. In the bag. I can use another coffee. Happy Halloween, by the way, guys. I know you guys don't necessarily know the day that I record the video. Today is Halloween. My daughter is super excited. Let's see how she goes. Gonna be tons of candy. Gonna be a, be a long night. It's really rainy and cold this morning, but it's supposed to warm up and not rain tonight. So please, please, for all you dads out there that take your kids to Halloween, you know what it's like when it's cold and shitty and raining. Let's hope that's not the case. So this guy, JPW, JP Wiza, going in. Uh, I was at work. I didn't get to see a lot of um, a lot of the initial stages of the war. Uh, I knew I was going to stream. I want to set up my stream. I got done at 9, uh, a little bit before 9. I wanted to have a quick beer at work. And as I was sitting having a beer, I literally, the first base I looked at was the number one. Because it was number one. So I opened up number one, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> I'm frozen witching this for sure. So I called it, finished my beer. I didn't even go in. Like, I went inside, changed quick, having a little after-work ritual in the garage, and opened this up, and like, boom, mic drop right now. So what I recognized was all those air defense tucked in at the 6 o'clock. That means you're going to see see those healers, how safe they are. I did lose my flank. I wish they had stayed on those witches on the outside. But it kind of worked out. But... Um, you're going to see I get right to the other side of the base, heal and range down over those bowlers. They take care of the rest of those air defense and uh, didn't quite preserve that healer. But Queen's in there too doing work. The flank at 3 o'clock is looking real good. Still have a couple witches going there. Did lose the stuff at 9 because those healers locked on to my core troops. But didn't really matter. Queen's going to step up, do a little bit of work as well. Bowlers are going to bust on through this wall here and help out that flank coming around from 6 o'clock. <clears throat> and I did have to freeze here. I think I do lose my queen here. Um, I'm going to have to hit that ability. There she goes just in time. Down goes the last couple defenses. Yeah, I do lose my queen here, but it doesn't really matter. She did her job. Bowlers and minis and a couple witches is just enough because of the two healers. If you can manage to, to, if you manage to get this attack to the point where 
one of your flanks is doing great and both their healers are still on them um, and, mo and there's only a little bit of cleanup with a few defenses to go, most of the time I'm coming away with three stars. And you're going to see just like this, bowler step up, everything, all both witches, both bowlers are getting value out of the, the healer. Did lose one of a mine there at the end, but it was enough. Boom, mic drop, three star on the bag for JPW. So, uh, gotta say, guys, uh, fun war, crunch time, uh, fantastic. You know what I mean? Hopefully, we get everybody to attack. So, we, who knows, right? Because uh, definitely, you guys came in with another one. Obviously, uh, we had one attack as well. We didn't get in. Um, but it is what it is. Uh, I do want to. Uh, I do want to give one more shout out to to Adam from Time to Clash. That guy. That guy has spent a lot of time. Uh, I mean, just messaging and stuff. But I know how time consuming some of this stuff is, and the amount of videos like puts out two videos a day, something like that. He's streaming all the time. So for him to even take, you know, five, 10 minutes to sort of messaging me and going back and forth, showing me how to change things. He's got, you know, he's gotten little, does little things for me uh, just to keep me going while I sort of get my feet wet with all this. But please guys, give me a sub on Twitch. Uh, I'm really trying to get this going here. Twitch.tv slash O-H-L-A-B-S, O-H Labs. Uh, that would be awesome. And uh, again, if you don't follow Adam, definitely follow that guy. He's got 20-some thousand Twitch subs. And it's, uh, you know, he's, he's a stand-up guy. Uh, got, I can't say, can't say enough good things about him. So anyways, crunch time. Thank you. Fantastic war. Uh, I think I'll uh, finish that here, though, and that'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser. Until next time, I'm out.